Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have a diamond painting to unbox. Now I know you have all seen a lot of unboxings from this company lately. I was late on the bandwagon because they have a very wide selection of choices to choose from and I didn't have a lot of time to sit and go through their catalog or their website I should say and find one that I wanted but I finally did and by the time I did everyone else was already posting videos from this company and this company is based in the UK box is a bit squished um, pretty box it says best wishes for you DIY so it doesn't actually say their company name on here but it is from a company called Victoria's Moon and they wanted to send a fairly large diamond painting and we all know why because you get the best detail from the larger paintings it will take me quite a bit of time to get to doing this one this is how it is sent rolled on the inside of the package which is how I prefer I think it gives you the best um, chance of it not getting damaged that way so everything is on the inside of here this cover is different this it's uh, twin adhesive apparently is the name of the adhesive cover company and this has 34 colors and I forgot to specify that I wanted round and I think it's coming in square oh it came in round yay all right so that's not a very big bag of drills hmm for a 50 by 70 and it does say 50 by 70 on there so if you're curious this is what the image is to look like let's see their toolkit it comes with a pink drill pin with a nine placer on it a green tray a square of wax tweezers and some extra adhesive for those spots that may be missing adhesive they supply extra adhesive for that not too many companies do that I've only seen one other company do that and I don't even remember the name of it okay so we have a canvas that was slightly damaged in the process I love that smell. It's got that new plastic smell. Amazing. There's only 34 colors and they do have DMC numbers on the side. And the DMC colors are on the bags as well. And they weigh them. So it's just a matter of making sure all of the numbers are in the bag. We won't have a, spe a specific number of drills per. Um, color so there won't be an inventory sheet when it comes like this all right let's open this up and get it flat yes 50 by 70 is very large it's large to me all right I love this smell I really do I think it's the cover that's giving that smell and I actually like the feel of it weird it's not as waxy as the Sunor group okay so it's in one large piece so let's go start up here And I'm going to pull out the bottom left corner to make sure it doesn't rip when trying to pull it down. There we go. Now we've got the middle. I'm 
I'm only going to pull it halfway off on this side. And then we'll do the other half on the other side. I mean, it's not extremely curled because of the way it was packed. So, look at that. Well, if the glare wasn't so bad. I think you can see that mirror pretty well. It's hard to tell the detail because they use, um, they have the training wheels around them. And all the symbols are written in black with a black ring around them. But they do have the colors in the background to fill in the spots that will be missing from it being a round. It has a bit of bubbling going on down here where it got, the package got damaged. The box, when the box got damaged. But it's not extreme bubble, extreme. It's, it's just some lifting. I think this type, if we ran the, uh, we could actually just probably run these plastic tweezers over the top to get it to lay flat. Here we go. So yeah, it's laying down, no problem. So it's not even a bubble. It's there. It's just some lifting because of the way the postal service mishandled the box and squished it. So it kind of left an indentation right there. Okay. It's still very sticky in that spot. And now there's no lifting in that area. There's, I mean, there are some creases because of the postal service, but once this flattens, um, because I do leave them out flat under heavy stuff, that should be remedied. Now here, let me show you the drilling field. So some of these may be a little hard to read just because they're all in black and some of them are similar and now dealing with a newer company, got to get used to their symbols. So they've got, oh, different things. Like one looks like a three leaf thing. And we got the heart and something else. It looks like a heart or a balloon with a line through it. So yeah, they're just different symbols. And uh, there's letters, and there's numbers, but they're very clear. I don't have any issues reading them. And since they're not fuzzy or anything, it should have be no problem whatsoever being able to tell what's what, especially with a light pad. All right, so because of all the purple, that is why I chose this. Plus, I've had my eye on this image for a very long time. Uh, let me cover this back up. And this size of 50 by 70, it runs um, 20, okay, for pounds, it's 29.99 in pounds, 29.99. And I converted that to U.S. dollars, so that would be uh, $36.49. And, you know, of course you know this was a promotional thing. They sent these to um, basically everyone on YouTube that does diamond painting. And... So that side is flat and let's look at the other side. I got a hair underneath it. All right. This is a really awkward size, so it's kind of hard to keep me from crunkling it with my chest. So let's look at this other half. And I mean, I am extremely impressed because they didn't wrap it tightly around a foam roller. I think that is what causes the stress 
bubbles on the canvas when you're pulling it back because I've had it where when I'm pulling it back and I stop, it causes a bubble. This is not doing that. And as you noticed, it was not wrapped around a foam roller. So I'm thinking it's from it being wrapped so tightly around something. I've always preferred having my diamond painting come with it rolled around the inside of the tube. I know it's a square tube, square box, and a round tube would be even more perfect. But if it's not in a tube, having it in a box without it bound to something, I think, is the best way to ship them. Even though they do sometimes get squished by the mail service, and having it in one piece makes it a little harder to get it all off at once, but as long as you're careful, it is doable. Okay, there we go. Now we are at the point where we were. I'm going to flip it around so we can see it right side up. Okay, so here's her wings. Beautiful. I think the detail is right on. And this is going to make a very beautiful piece. And I, I mean, the cam, it is immaculate, other than, you know, what the Postal Service did to, you know, bend it a little bit in spots. The, it really took it really well. I mean, the only spot it had issues was that one spot that I rubbed down. Everything else looks really good. Um, the rest of this that you kind of see raised, like right in there, that will flatten down once it's put down on uh, underneath some other diamond paintings that are waiting to be hung. So it will flatten nicely. Very nice. So this canvas looks really good. The glue, the symbols, all of that. So I am super impressed with that. Okay, so the how long it took to get to me, um, I don't know. It, it wasn't a normal order. It's not like I ordered it on their website, but I was communicating through email. And when I finally was able to tell her which one that I preferred, that was July 17th. And she gave me the tracking number on July 22nd. Um, and then it ri arrived today, August 6th. So altogether that took 20 days. And it's coming from, I don't know where it's coming from. They're a UK based company, but on my re the return address, it has California. So the only way I knew what it was is because of the size written right there on that label that was underneath. If I would have been able to see that, who knows? Might have been able to tell where it came from. But it says 50 by 70, and that's the only 50 by 70 I've had coming to me. So I do not know where it originated, if it was in China or if it was in the UK. I do not know. So canvas, good deal. 34 colors. Let me write that down. And it is a full round. I wasn't sure about that. So let me set that aside. And let's look at these drills. Try to find the entry. There we are. Okay. I did not verify that that's the number on the canvas, but it does say 50 by 70, 34 colors. So, and it's got a lot of purple in it. So I'm guessing it is the right one. These will go in another bag of my own making. So this goes away. Now, all I have to do is go through these colors and make sure all the numbers are here because each bag has, that's the number. Number 34, color number 34, uh, DMC number 3860, 
and it's got 2.6 grams of drills in there. So, I'll be right back after I go through all these to make sure all the numbers are here, and then I'll show you some of these beautiful colors. Well, it appears I'm missing number 13. I looked back in the bag these came out of, and it's nowhere. And I checked to make sure they weren't doubled up. And I'm doing it again, and I don't find number 13. And I went through all of them, so... Haven't had that happen in a long time. Just double checking. I don't see it. And uh, let's see, number 13 would be five fifty. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of that color. Um because you know that's the main color purple yeah so that's why I felt looked at the bag and thinking yeah that's um I really doesn't seem like this is enough colors to do a five six a 50 by 70 so I will contact them and after I hear back or receive it then I will post this video but um until then, I'm missing a color, so uh, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of at a loss. I can't. I can't even start it because I'm pretty sure that's a ba major. Let me look. Actually, the down arrow. Yeah, that color is a big part of the the diamond painting because it's the main color. So I'm just guessing they forgot to put that color in. So I will actually. I'll just close out this video and I will add on at the end once I hear from them and this video will not post until I hear back from them um, with the bag of drills. All right, so I did receive a bag of 550 from the company. Um, I'm not sure how long it took, but it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed the rest of this video and I'm inserting this in to let you know that they did send them to me. And again, the package said it was from Chino, California with another label underneath. So, um, it, I don't know, for some reason it takes a while to get to me from Victoria's Moon in UK. I'm not sure why, but they gave me a nice big bag of it and I'm going to actually kit this one up and this will be my next project that I do here in the craft room. So if I actually get a chance to do a drill with me, it will be on this diamond painting until it is completed. And I still have one more I need to choose to do for my bedroom project. Um, as you know, I'm doing one in the living room. So anyway, this will be kitted up soon and I will let you get back to the remainder of this video so thank you guys for watching um let me know what your experience with victoria moon has been so far because i know they've been advertised quite a bit on youtube lately so have you received one from victoria's moon before and what did you think of it let me know down below in the comment section on your way down don't forget to hit that thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.